was good. I'm actually glad that worked. <laughs> um, so, I'm cooking right now. The um, first time in a while that I have to make like a whole bunch of stuff for myself. So, uh, due to the fact that my sisters want to see how this goes down, I'm just going to be recording this. So, first thing to do... Oh, oh god, my phone is charging. Um, first thing to do, let's put that in there safely. Uh, we got four cans of kidney beans. We're just gonna... Oh god, you cannot see that. Um, I don't want to lift that up, but basically, there are beans in there now. We're gonna do this with four different cans. Uh, that one is not fully unbeaned, now it is. Can number two. God, you really cannot see this on my camera, huh? Well, I say my camera, it's my phone. Oh, which I'm also not holding the safest way. Uh, I am holding it in a way that my... But hold on, let me, let me swap hands. There we go. Because people tend to not be left-handed. <laughs> um, well, I'm ambidextrous, so this doesn't really matter too much. But hey, so, four cans of beans. Cool. In this thingy, right there, all those beans, we need to drain them, we need to rinse them. Uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. I suggest you rinse with cold water, because it just makes your life a little bit easier. Aw, oh, yeah, let's just swivel that around a little bit. My hand is not, there we go. Yeah, boy. Okay, that, 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 that should be okay for now. We'll leave these to, uh, to drain, actually. Um, I've got a bowl there. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna... Okay, so I've put um, a bowl under this so that it drains. Oh gosh, it's already starting draining into there. Um, but yeah, so while that's going, we've got um, a whole thing of water here because we are going to uh, cut up a whole bunch of sweet potatoes. And yeah, <laughs> we're gonna cut up a whole bunch of sweet potatoes. So let me actually move this one and let me just... What a cool editing trick, and some of them have just fallen. Um, but yeah, so we're actually going to be cutting these up into like fries, chips, whatever. Uh, we're going to boil them first before we like grill them, fry them, bake them, whatever. Because uh, it makes them a little bit softer, easier to like deal with. Which really I should have done before I cut these up. But I'm an idiot, so you know. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm done cutting up all these sweet potatoes. Not all of them, there's still quite a bit left. Um, I suggest, if you try and ever do this, cut them a lot neater than I do because I am sloppy with cook uh, with cutting. But we're gonna put them in to boil now. Aww, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll just let those, you know, boil, have some time. Then we'll put them into this and then into the oven and let it bake. Uh, but right now, uh, it's time to mash up these beans. Where is the... There it is. <laughs> I was like, where's the masher? And I cannot pull it out. Eh. Come on. <clears throat> I finally got this fucker out. Let's just, uh, start mashing these beans. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, this is gonna be difficult. Maybe I'll be mashing beans. Till 7.33! Okay, so those beans have been mashed up pretty nicely. Now we add 200 grams of breadcrumbs. Uh, two teaspoons of chili powder. It's supposed to be mild, but I don't care. Um, coriander. You're supposed to use, like, um, like, fresh coriander. But I don't have any, so... Uh, a whole bunch of other stuff to taste. It's two eggs, and then we'll start mixing it all up. Okay, so I forgot that the recipe I was reading was for six. I'm making 12, so I had to double the coriander and the, um, coriander and chili powder. There we go. But now, it's time to mix it all up with the folk. This is going to be difficult to do with one hand. Oh, God, why am I doing this to myself? Okay. Da-da-da! 12 bean burgers. But I have a whole lot more mixture than I thought I did. Um, I've also got one here for the uh, practice of the cooking to see how that goes. Um, so now I have to freeze these. Um, then I can like grill them for what, 20, 30 minutes ish? So that they're cooked all the way through? Because um, I can cook them from frozen, hopefully. I don't know what to do with the rest of this though. Uh, we'll see. But for now, I've got uh, a nice old griddle grill thingy heating up with some oil. 
Um, the sweet potato chips are currently in the oven, and I actually kind of need to um, flip them over because they've been in there for like 10 minutes, and I kind of need to make sure they cook all the way through um, on all sides. Uh, but yeah. Cool. Deep tight, you little fucklords. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Time to play the game of Will This Fry! That was kind of a uh, weaker sizzle than I was expecting, but it's definitely sizzling. Let's uh, get a little bit more oil around that area. Let's try that. Yeah. Oh no, it's already falling apart. This is fine. This is fine. Let's just. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, this one was not the most structurally composed, but that's fine. I'll just let this cook for a little bit, and we'll flip it, and we'll see what it, what it, what it's like. Um, however, uh, I've only got twelve pieces of bread here, so I might just have this by itself? Question mark. Because I mean, the sweet potatoes are more so so that, um, even though they're being cooked right now, is more so so that I can actually like pair them with the rest of them. So we'll just see what this one tastes like by itself. Okay, so, um, first notable thing, the, <laughs> the structural integrity of the burger is, like, non-existent. <laughs> um, so I might need to, um, add an extra egg, which I already did, by the way. I didn't, uh, I forgot to mention that. I did add, like, another egg, so it would have three eggs. I think four is probably a better, uh, better number, uh, just to make sure that the, uh, structural integrity makes sense. However, uh, first bite, let's see. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um. So, first thing. Oh my god. Wow. Um. <laughs> it's a little dry. That's fine. Um. I. Should have calmed down on the chili. On the chili uh, powder. Ooh. I understand why it says it needed miles now. Because all I feel is burning on my tongue. It's not like spicy it's literally just a burning sensation so um yeah that's that it's actually not bad <laughs> um i'm weird i actually we like kind of like that burning sensation so it also actually has a bit of a crunch to it which is nice like that's what the breadcrumbs are kind of there for hmm yeah um I need to make a little bit of remedy to the um, to the current mixture. Add more salt and pepper. Um, I don't know. I feel like you could definitely make something with this. I just feel like I made the mixture a little bit too weak. Um, other than the chili powder. But yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the rest of this. But that's uh, that's my cooking escapade. Gut uh, gun, gun. My cooking escapades are done. <laughs> okay.